Fox's Enigma, The Riddles of Felsenrake Forest Under the canopy of the verdant forest of Felsenrake, the sun gently permeated through the labyrinth of leaves, casting an ethereal glow on everything below. Among the forest inhabitants, one being sparkled with an unusual intellect, an agile and russet-coated creature, Felix, the clever fox. Felix's days were spent in harmony with the forest, where each tree, each creature, and every rustle of leaves echoed a story known to Felix and the woodland inhabitants. In the village neighboring the forest, a hunter of notable avarice, Hunter Zachary, resided. With eyes as cold as steel and intentions steeped in greed, Zachary coveted the bountiful resources of Felsenrake, threatening to disrupt the serenity and balance that Felix and the woodland inhabitants treasured. One morning, a cool wind blew from the north, rustling the leaves into a chorus of whispers. Within this chorus, a distinct message began to form, Zachary, the hunter, approaches. Felix's pointed ears pricked up, listening intently to the forest's warning. Knowledge of this dire intrusion led to the first turn of events. Felix, with a cunning smile dancing on the fox's snout, concocted a plan. The clever fox knew that brute force or pleading would not dissuade Zachary. However, Felix understood the power of riddles and their capability to entrap even the sharpest minds. Thus, a challenge was prepared for the greedy hunter. Should Zachary solve Felix's three riddles, the forest would surrender peacefully. Should Zachary fail, the hunter must vow to never step foot in Felsenrake again. Later that day, as hunter Zachary treaded arrogantly through the underbrush, Felix emerged from the foliage, russet coat shining in the sun-dappled light. The fox's keen eyes met the hunter's cold gaze, and the challenge was presented. Taken aback but unable to resist a challenge, Zachary agreed. The first riddle echoed through the silent woods, I can fly without wings. I can cry without eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. What am I? The hunter's eyes narrowed in thought. After a few tense moments, an answer escaped his lips, a cloud. Felix, the clever fox, acknowledged with a nod. While Zachary reveled in his first victory, Felix swiftly posed the second riddle, I am taken from a mine and shut up in a wooden case from which I am never released, and yet I am used by almost every person. What am I? A smirk formed on the fox's face as the hunter stumbled through guesses. The wind grew colder and shadows stretched as time passed and still no correct answer came forth. The silence of the forest was broken when a woodpecker started drumming on a nearby tree trunk. The sound spurred an idea in Zachary's mind, and he uttered, a pencil. Felix acknowledged once more. The forest held its breath, the fate of its existence hanging by the last riddle. As the sun began its descent, casting a fiery glow on the horizon, Felix voiced the final riddle, what has keys but can't open locks. Zachary, now wearied and humbled, pondered on the riddle. He thought of every key he knew, every lock he had ever unlocked, but the answer eluded him. As desperation began to cloud the hunter's mind, Felix's amber eyes gleamed with the flicker of hope. Zachary conceded, unable to answer the third riddle. The silence that followed echoed louder than any cheer. Felix, with a triumphant smile, revealed the answer, a piano. With those words, 
the fate of the forest of Felsenrake was sealed. A wave of relief swept through the woods, rustling the leaves into a harmonious song and causing the woodland creatures to emerge, basking in the glow of their continued peace. The pact was sealed with Hunter Zachary's defeat, his vow of never returning to the forest binding him. Overwhelmed by his defeat, Zachary, the once feared hunter, walked away, his head bowed low. Felix's clever riddles had not only protected the woods but also imparted a lesson to Zachary. He had learned that the world did not exist for his avarice, that every creature had a right to its home, and the balance of nature was not to be disrupted for selfish gains. In the days that followed, the story of the clever fox and the greedy hunter became a legend, whispered with the rustling of the leaves, sung by the birds, and echoed in the peaceful silence of the forest of Felsenrae. Felix's ingenuity served as a reminder to all future generations, speaking of the courage it takes to protect one's home and the wisdom required to maintain peace and harmony. Through the clever use of riddles, Felix managed to protect the forest. This did not only preserve the physical habitat but also conserved the rich culture, unity, and history the woodland creatures had built over the years. Felix's wisdom illustrated that intellect often trumps brute force and that cunning strategy can often achieve what confrontation cannot. From the towering trees to the humble shrubs, each element of the forest narrated a tale of victory, a tale of a clever fox who outsmarted a greedy hunter. The story of the fox's riddle served as an everlasting tribute to wisdom, peace, and the invincible spirit of nature. Felix, the clever fox, remained the protector and sage of the forest of Felsenrake, celebrated in tales and respected in reality. The forest bloomed in prosperity and peace, a testament to the wisdom and resilience of its inhabitants.